guys welcome back to another flip through video um, today I'm going to show you this little gem that I picked up um, in our local discount bookshop in the UK called The Works um, it's called The Garden of Earthly Delights by Adriana Picker a lush wonderland of colouring for adults um, I have done one page in this in Prisma Colours so you can see how it lays down um, which I think is going to be my new way of doing my flip throughs so without further ado let's get in and have a look it's got a nice thick card cover with this black with um, you can see it's got this lovely gold foil and on the front um, we open it up and on the inside cover is these beautiful leaves um, very detailed and you can colour on this because it's nice and um, matte so you can colour on that um, and we have the tiger page then we have a little bit here um, flowers bloom lizards leap bees swarm and mushrooms emerge in this earthly exploration of the natural world um, and that is exactly what it is it's amazing um, <clears throat> she is an Australian artist um, and she has a lifelong love of botanical illustration um, there's so many things going on in here the only thing about this book that I was wary of was the paper quality it's not very thick and it does have that um, texture to it. If anybody's got the Good Wives and Warriors smaller books, uh, Return to Oz and things like that, the paper quality is like that. It's quite rough. Um, it's not great for water media. It's a pencils only sort of book, although I have used Posca in it and it didn't really bleed through. Um, and I was quite heavy handed. So anyway, let's get on and have a look. So um, you can see that the the drawings in it are quite realistic. And mushrooms and little orchids and lots of snails and frogs and little creatures in this. Bees. A whole page of worms. This is not to everybody's taste, obviously. A, because it's worms and B, because it's a page full of them. Um, <clears throat> but I think that done... Um, in just a wild array of colours with a black background it'll just look amazing so I think that's what I might do with that I've done something similar with the next page so these are the snails I love snails, they are amazing I love uh, I, I'm, I'm desperate for some land snails but you know the, the big African land snails but I'm going to have to wait for that um, so I've coloured this one <coughs> um, I used Posca for the background, um, there was no circle in this, it was just the snails. Um, so I did them in rainbow in Prisoner Colours and again there was a ton of layers on this. Um, and then I drew with a compass, I drew the circle and put the silver on black border around just to make them pop a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me guys, sorry. So you can use Posca on this. Um, it has crinkled the page a little bit, but not so much that it's ruined the book or anything. And you can see on the other side that, apart from the wrinkles, it hasn't actually come through. And that page is totally colourable now. Um, and I have a whole double page of snails to colouring in rainbows. And it's exciting. <laughs> um, there's a lot of white space in this book. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that but um, for me that's encouraging me to think about what I would like to put in the background whether I just want to colour it and leave the background white whether I want to design something whether I want to draw my own things in the background um, so I quite like that I've got the odd book like that um, there's lots of bugs in here if you like colouring bugs for practicing your shiny bugs and you can get a really shiny effect in this paper it's not that bad 
it's just um, something to be aware of when you buy the book. If you buy the book. Lots of mushrooms and Venus fly traps, which I love. That's the weird side of my nature. <laughs> More fungus. Crocuses. Pretty snails and crocuses. Fritillaries. Blossoms. Not sure what these are. Never mind. I'm sure I'll come up with something. More bugs. Look at this bug page. Wow. You could just make every colour combination possible um, for bugs on this. Um, you could even scan this and, and print it out onto watercolour paper or um, a good cardstock and um, you know use that as a practice page for um, colouring various things. Same with feathers. And the moths and butterflies. Some orchidy things. Some of the images are quite dark, but um, still plenty of, of space for colouring in them. I just think these are so gorgeous. I like the little caterpillars. I love bugs and beasties, I really do. Anything I'm not struck on is centipedes and free roaming spiders. Hmm. <laughs> I really don't like centipedes. There's a little frog hiding in that one. It's so cute. Huge amount of leaves. I think these are called coleus leaves, I think. Um and if you look them up, if you're not familiar with them, you'll see that they are um, actually the most amazing sort of rich reds and limey greens with beautiful patterns. And they're all so different. Um, and if you look them up online, I'm sure there'll be boards on Pinterest full of them. I like this frog page. I have a set of postcards of Frogs of the World because um, I collect weird stuff like that. So I'm going to use those to colour these as realistically as I can. Wee froggies. And lizards and geckos and... More lizards and geckos and... I don't know whether the salamanders are really what, what they are, but... Lizardy things and some cyclamens. The little lizard hiding in the corner. Look at the little tail sticking out. How cute! Gorgeous leaves. Magnolia blossoms. You can probably tell I like flowers. I used to love gardening. Um, it's too cold where I live up here now. It's too remote to have a, 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 a big garden, but I did used to. Um, I had all sorts in it. And moths. Beautiful dragonflies. We get a lot of those here because I live next to a lake. Um, so in the summertime you get all these beautiful blue dragonflies. My dad's going to love this because my dad keeps bees on a grand scale now. And uh, 
So he, he's going to love that page. And my dad colours as well, so he might end up colouring that page for me. Should be nice. Passion flowers. Gorgeous hummingbirds. Some sort of tropical flower that is never going to grow in the UK unless it's in a greenhouse. Look at these beautiful birds. And the great page for practicing um, doing birds in flight and feathers and things like that and again you could do each one in a, a specific colour theme and the end page is the coleus flowers uh, leaves again so just a gorgeous book um, if you can get past the roughness of the paper which is totally surmountable it's totally not a problem um, but I know some people are really particular about the paper I'm getting over that a bit now um, I just want to colour so um, that is The Garden of Earthly Delights by Adriana Picker there is another book in the series I can't remember what it's called but I'll get it you know I will and then I'll do a flip through of that too so I hope you've enjoyed that um, like I say, I bought this from the works in the UK. They do have a website. Um, it cost me about £4 in the discount shop. So, you know, um, it is 15 US dollars to buy. So it is available in the US and Canada as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment because I love to chat to you and I'll see you again soon. Take care guys. Bye.